the ultimate bug out solution? Hey everybody, this is Michael with Asymmetrical Preparedness. Today's video is a little bit different. We're going to be taking a look at a bug out option. What is this bug out option? This bug out option is the Mammoth Overland trailer. Now, you heard Overland, so yes, they cater primarily to the overlanding community, which is off-road vehicles, capable vehicles, getting way back in remote areas to go do dispersed camping and such. But in the realm of preparedness, this also has a very good um, application in the bugging out um, area. Also, as additional sleeping and or quarters and other stuff for just even at your, on your property. Offers a lot of options. We're gonna get into and cover a lot of the options. I'm gonna show you the trailer. We're gonna show you um, a lot of stuff about it. I'm gonna talk about it. Um, but make sure you stay tuned to the end because that's where I'm gonna wrap it all up and give my final thoughts and really the breakdown, the lowdown of how well I feel this trailer performed. And is it a viable option for us as preppers. So stay tuned. First I have to mention the fact that I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not and get any money from them whatsoever. Um, I was working with another some other guys that have a um, outsiders media that they do uh, videography and photo shoots for companies for advertising and stuff like that. So we were able to pick up the mammoth trailer. Um, they allowed us to take it out and use it they provided the propane. That was nice. They had a full propane bottle, but that's it. So I didn't receive any money, anything like that. So this is a non, totally non-biased um, look at this trailer. Just wanted to make sure you guys knew that. Here we are, Mammoth Overland. Pick up the trailer. See which one we're gonna get. But yeah, so this is a us walking into Mammoth to pick up the trailer. This is the Mammoth Overland trailer. It's got a rooftop tent on the top, awning, hard shell, lockable doors, propane tank, propane heater, 31 inch BFG all-terrain tires. It's got a full kitchen in the back. I'll open that up in a second to show you guys. Just wanna do a quick walk around. Spare tire, of course, exterior lighting. This thing, is really good for a bug out option. One thing that uh, is really good about it is that if you get a rooftop tent, you know, like we have on there and you have up there, if you have it set up and you're in camp and you need to get out quick, it takes a while to put down or you just take off and ruin your rooftop tent. This trailer, however, though, you can just jump out of it, jump in the driver's seat and hit the road. You can just take off real quick. So that's something really nice about it. And I like the locking doors. Like I said, propane tank, shovel, rotopacks for water and fuel. And then it has a onboard um, water system. Also, it actually has a hot water shower. So that's really nice. Let me get into showing you that. First night in the Mammoth trailer. Tell you what, that propane fireplace right there, game changer right there. Mood lighting, comfortable mattress, good to go. Had a wonderful day. Now it's time for bed. What are my thoughts on this trailer for bugging out? Pretty decent option. I had a good night's sleep in here last night. The mattress is comfortable. If you can see here, I'll show you the mattress. Pretty comfortable. Pretty nice and thick. That propane fireplace 
is sweet. It works really well. Um, and for bug out purposes, um, one of the nice features about this versus other options maybe, um, as far as like rooftop tents and stuff, you know, kind of in uh, the mix between overlanding applications and prepping applications is this is a hard shell and it has a door on each side. You can see them right there and right there. That lock. So that's a nice feature. Um, have these blackout panels. You can see one right there. You can take on or off. So you can put them all up. Took them down for extra light right now for, you know, talking to you guys. But um, all in all, yeah, it's pretty nice. It has interior lighting. Just light strip along here. Um, you can turn on, change colors. There you go. The light, and then changing colors, you know, for mood lighting while you're out bugging out. <laughs> so I ran this all night, the heater. So we're, battery voltage is 12.6. It was 12.7 when I went to bed. Um, just ran the lights a little bit. Propane heater. Um, I don't don't know if it actually uses much power. It's pretty much just a propane heater. But uh, first thoughts after actually sleeping in it. Um, nice, very nice. I like it. I think it's a good option if you're looking for something like this to or for bugging out for getting out into remote areas um, a lot of these models come with solar panels that's nice the battery systems on these pretty nice um, I'm going to show you a walk around in a little bit that will be interesting but yeah this is a little bit different than my normal videos here uh, I'm talking about this out in the middle of nowhere uh, way up in the mountains, we're about 6,000 foot elevation, and it was cold up here last night. Um, and I stayed warm. You know, I fleece blanket, but that's it with the heater. Um, pretty good. All right, here we are at the back of the trailer. I'm gonna open it up and show you guys some of the stuff inside. Opens up real quick and easy. Just turn this, rotate the swing away tire out of the way. Two little latches here, do those. This whole thing opens up. Just like that, little pin here, lift it up. Swing the kitchen over here, out of the way. Now let me reposition camera. Let's start with the kitchen. You got a dual burner stove right here. You got a water faucet, sink, really nice. Another nice feature is the fridge. It runs up the batteries and they have a solar setup for it. Let me turn it this way so you can see it a little bit better. You know, it's pretty decent. Holds your beverage of choice, which I know one of my vices, I gotta stop drinking this stuff and just drink some water. But anyway, I'll get one of those out for later. Keeps them nice and cold. You can see how big it is. It's not super big. Won't carry a ton of stuff, but it is what it is. Um, and then this whole area here, you got a flat surface there for food preparation or anything like that. Another nice feature I like is this storage area up here. But one thing I really like about it is the fact that it passes through to inside the trailer. So if you're keeping anything up in here that you need while you're inside, you can reach it. That's a nice feature. So, <clears throat> and it has, you know, little storage things here and there, little storage compartments for different things. Um, this doesn't have all the stuff packed up in it because I just picked it up from Mammoth and uh, for testing purposes and stuff. But it's got another little storage thing area here, another storage area here. Um, yeah, the onboard 
water, it's got power hookups um, for doing the things. Really nice setup. Um, yeah, the propane stove with uh, auto start. So far, it's looking to be a really good option for bugging out if you can afford it. But, you know, sometimes you got to pay to play, right? Here's another one of those nice features I was telling you about the Eco Temp um, hot water heater. Pretty nice. Turn it up minimum, maximum temperature, cold flow. It's got inside here, it's got the nozzles that come in here, um, nozzles here hook up the um, hoses inside here to it and you can take a shower it's really nice and it's actually I think it's in this this one over here no not in that one over here all right it's in the one down there that I already covered up but it has a shower head and everything like that nice feature um, when you're out there for extended periods of time even in a bug out situation you still got to take care of proper hygiene because if you don't take care of proper hygiene you're going to be more susceptible to getting sick to um, just all those things you know uh, mites bugs just you got to keep yourself clean and you don't want to be you know that stinky guy especially when you're climbing in bed in close proximity to others like inside a trailer so hygiene is very important um, the ability to carry onboard water is very important um, yeah Pretty sweet. So what are my final thoughts and my takeaway from this experience out there near Mount Hood, Oregon on some pretty remote trails? Not super technical, not like four wheeling, but very, very rocky and not like river rocks, not rounded rocks, sharp rocks. Um, we went a lot of miles, it was over the course of three days, um, towed that beast <laughs> up mountains all the way up from, you know, sea level to over, I think we we're over 7,000 foot elevation up um, highways, um, surface roads, and pretty difficult terrain in my F-350 Super Duty. Now, of course, you understand that's not a rock crawler or anything like that, but um, the experience was very good. Um, <clears throat> that trailer went places that I did not think it would go. The road was, um, somebody had already gone through and cleared all the downfalls, but we did have to widen it in a couple places um, because I have a wide truck and the trailer is a tiny bit wider than my truck. The tires stick out a little bit. But with the built-in rock sliders, I don't know if I talked about that previously in the video, between the rock sliders and the tires and the way the trailer is built, it just went, honestly. There was a lot of places where there were um, logs, um, either, you know, all like going down the trail like this or ending at the trail where um, I wasn't sure I was gonna get through. The guys who were with me had ex more experience with, this, with these trailers. So, you know, they told me just, I mean, the rock sliders were below the level of the log and they told me just, you know, keep going, just take it slow and the rock sliders will dig in, they'll lift the trailer up, and then they'll slide along, and then the wheels will contact the, the log, and they'll just ride up and over and back down. And by golly, it did. That trailer really impressed me, honestly. I am not looking for a trailer specifically for myself right now, so I'll tell you that. So I'm not like a trailer fanboy or anything like that. I'm not mammoth fanboy or anything like that. Uh, pluses and minuses. And, um, but for very remote, my thoughts about, my personal thoughts about a trailer though, is that it makes it more difficult to turn around, um, less mobility, stuff like that. But this thing did go everywhere. I mean, I was really impressed, honestly really impressed with its, its off-road capability. And these guys, um, if you know anything about Tahuya ORV Park, off-road vehicle park in Western Washington, they took it through there. <laughs> And that's four wheeling, so pretty impressive off-road capabilities. Um, as far as the trailer capabilities, um, I already mentioned the propane fireplace was really nice. It has a propane system. It has solar um, set up with it, um, and also the batteries charge through the um, trailer to truck um, connection, which is really nice. Arrived at camp every night with a topped-off battery every night. Woke up every. It was like 12.7 volts, 12.8 volts. Woke up every morning like 
12.4, 12.5. Um, and you know, I wasn't running the lights very much or stuff like that, but I did run the propane heater, which does have electrical aspect of it for the fan to uh, blow the heat into the trailer. But all in all, I mean, it has a 20 gallon water tank in it. It has that on-demand hot water shower, which I mean, whether you're overlanding or bugging out, you still gotta take care of hygiene. That's really important. Um, the fridge was really nice. I used it the whole time. Um, one time it did the connection uh, for the fridge into the trailer right there did wiggle out a little bit so the fridge was off but it was for a short period of time it kept stuff in there nice and cold though um, all I had was like basically sodas waters and stuff like that but it kept them nice and cold even though it did come unplugged one time and that may be just because this is like their tester trailer that they, they hand out to people and they go test and so it's seen a lot of miles a lot of off-road miles lots of use I mean probably way more use than the average person would put a trailer through over the span of 10 or 20 years honestly so we'll give them that um, <clears throat> the um, kitchen area and the stove and everything ah oh, that's just so nice prep area cooking it's so nice to have it all right there nice feature also as a spare tire of course that's really nice what I would do though what I would recommend is it comes with 31 inch um, all-terrain tires what I personally would do is I would put the same size tires on my trailer that are on my tow rig so that you have that tire interchangeability. So then you can carry a spare tire for the vehicle and for the tra and one on the trailer. And then what you can do is if you have two flats, you can interchange them. So that's a nice, that would be a very good thing to do, I believe. Um, the um, comfort of it, it was very comfortable. It kept me warm. I don't know how cold it got, but I think it caught. I think it got into the high, mid to high 20s. It was it was, it was pretty cold, even though this time of year we were pretty high elevation. Um, we went through some snow to get there, and it did well in the snow. Also, we did well in the mud, did well in the rocks, did well on the on the tree stumps and all the logs and stuff. Um, oh, let me see. What are some other aspects of it? Well, as a prepper, I wouldn't leave it white. <laughs> Or, as you saw early on, I showed a little clip of Ellie, which is their trailer I was really supposed to get. That's their extinction level event trailer. It has bulletproof doors, bulletproof windows. They couldn't make the whole thing bulletproof because of weight and, um, you know, cost and stuff like that. But Ellie was one that, like I said, I was supposed to get because that's the one they want to, um, it's more like a prepper type thing, end of the world type stuff. It has a uh, camera on a boom that lifts up, 360 degree um, security. It also has a, a top hatch in the roof that you can get out with and deal with threats from inside the trailer. That's really nice. And I don't know all the other features on Ellie on their extinction level event trailer because like I said, I didn't get it. But as you saw, it was orange. I would change that. I already talked to the company. I said, hey, if you're going to do this for preppers, don't make an orange trailer. Don't make it bright colors. Make it like flat coaty tan, flat, flat olive drab, maybe a flat gray you know, something along those lines, flat brown, tan, you know, any of those kind of earth tone colors, because you don't want to be high signature. It's already you can be high enough signature um, in a large event. So um, I feel all in all, with all of its capabilities, that it is a good option. Am I going to get one? No. But something you may want to think about. So take a look at their website, maybe. I don't know, like I said, I'm not endorsed. I don't care whether you do or not. Um, but if you're interested, check it out. I don't even know how much they are. I've seen a lot of trailers in the thirty dollars to $50,000 range. So it's also a hefty investment. But it may fit you. It may work well for you. Um, from what I've seen, it's good quality. <sighs> we beat it up um, pretty good. And didn't... I think... There's one spot in the sheet metal had a little ding. I think we might have done that, but I'm not sure. That may have been there before because I didn't really walk around at all um, super hardcore at first. But um, it has trailer brakes. Um, the off-road suspension worked well. Yeah, all in all, pretty impressed. So hope you guys enjoy the video. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day and blessings to you and yours.